everyone, Morty here, and uh, I just took down another nine boosted ice base. So this is the second one we've done during this push. Uh, this one was quite interesting. He actually only has 1,282 victory points. So it's very unusual to see someone at that low VP boosting nine ice. It could be he just finished his push and decided to go ahead and boost everything. Maybe he has a ton of powder or something. Just a really unusual situation. So let's go ahead and take a look at this base. As you can see, nine of his ice is boosted. He has only one offense statue. And that is this 32 troop damage. So let's take a look at this base. It's actually not an easy base. He's got the Shock Blaster 3, a Laser Beam 3, and a Shield Gen 3. Usually it would be quite easy to go ahead and just Heavy Zooka or AZ Rush from the back corner. Um, however, with my 3 offense stats, that's just not a possibility. The health in this base is just way too high, and the damage, it's, it's ridiculous. So we use a very cool and fun combo. Let's go ahead and restart the attack and we'll watch it from the beginning. So what he did here is I noticed a little weakness in his base is he has a cannon up front. Now what that means, we could actually outrange the cannon with Grenz. And you see how nothing's hitting it. So we used two boats of Grenz and one boat of Medics. And now we're just chipping away at those front defenses without many casualties. I mean the rocket damage is ridiculous because there's nine boosted ice. So our medics can't even out heal the rocket. So I think we lost one Gren, but it's not too bad. Now as that cannon is dying, we go ahead and drop our troops. The troops we used are, we used five boats of tanks. We used two boats of Grens and one boat of medic. So tank, Gren, bullet, medic. So what we do is we go ahead and shock the shock blaster. And we just let Bullet be in front and just do its thing. Bullet's taking the sniper, the cannon fire, pretty much everything. And then we go ahead and flare out to the right hand side. Then we go ahead and shock the shock blaster again. <clears throat> we went ahead and activated the energy drink feature from Bullet to heal him up. Now Bullet goes ahead right in front where we want him to take the shock launcher fire and any other damage we need. We go ahead and shock the shock blaster again since that's the only real dangerous thing we even need to worry about at this point. The shock launcher is being distracted perfectly by Bullet and that boom cannon over there as well being distracted. So we're in really good shape right now. <clears throat> Just going to keep moving forward. Now when that shock logic goes down, we go ahead and flare to the right corner. And then we shock the shock launcher. And that boom cannon. Bullet goes ahead and moves up close. We activate the energy drink one more time, heal him up. And he's taking all that fire, no problem. He's taking the shock launcher, the boom cannon, all the damage. That laser is doing a lot of damage to us. He's killing our medics, our grens. But it doesn't really matter. The tanks are what's taking out the core. And since the shield is down, there really isn't much to worry about. We had to activate activated energy drink one more time. As you saw, bullet was healing up. And it went down. So this was a really difficult base for three offense. One shield, laser, and shock blaster is really difficult and hard to take down. Um, I gotta say, I doubt this attack would have worked if it wasn't for this week's tribe boosts, which are tank health 45% and grenade damage 60%. So that's how my tanks were able to survive, and the Grens did awesome damage. So that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the attack, and we'll see you next time.